What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Oaks Homestead. I'm Chip. And I'm cold. You're Nicole. I'm Nicole. Nicole. And I'm cold. And it is <laughs> 2022 kidding season for these goats out here. It is. We're really excited because this year we actually have a barn and we're trying to get more organized. We have a plan this year. <laughs> we haven't, this is our third kidding season and this is potentially going to be the first time that we've had kids where everything okay dogs dogs where everything is gone the way it's expected to go i shouldn't have even said that don't, why would don't I even, even say that why would i even say it, that just now nah, yeah so hopefully everything goes smooth uh the first time first kidding season we got uh does and the person we got them from was like they've been exposed to a buck maybe they're pregnant maybe they're not we don't know and then just at random uh kids, just, <laughs> kids started hitting off. the ground <laughs> and okay great uh the next season we told ourselves we're gonna be prepared we didn't have a buck that we thought was viable for kidding we thought our buck was too young so we brought in a friend's buck uh he was gonna stud service our does for us and it turns out our little buck had already got the job done so uh months early before we even got started planning well, anything we had kids dropping we again. had kids on the ground uh in january yeah. unprepared again we didn't even have a barn or anything yeah. like that back then either so what we learned along the way is that we we need to have somewhere where we can keep these mamas yeah where we can kind of force them with their babies let them get that initial bond mm -hmm. and then let them out make sure other animals don't interfere i mean they don't interfere too much but it's just it's nicer when you have like yeah you know, that when we have everything room when we got everybody together the way that we have it uh pigs kind of are curious and then donkeys are checking stuff out and it, it's nice for the goat moms to just be able to get away in a maternity ward with the babies and take care of uh, take care of them with the peace and quiet without the stress. Yeah. So, uh, but what we want to do today is we still got the sheep with the lambs in the kidding stalls right now, but something that we need to take care of is preparing the bachelor pad. Our bucks have been with the moms uh, since October. September? September since September, End of September. Uh, when we started uh, getting them pregnant we just left them together because there's no point in separating them at that point uh, but now that time's over and we're about to start having kids drop so we want to separate people are going wild or they're not people the, so, the sheep are chasing the, the pigs. the sheeps are chasing the pigs <laughs> the the pigs are chasing the dogs it's crazy over there but we want to get those ram bucks not rams we want to get those bucks out of here and back into the bachelor pad we only got one we got two bucks we got one buck and one weather a weather's still a buck he's just I a weather he's fine don't he's defective don't degrade him like that. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to clean that area out and we need to get them moved up north yeah <laughs> We did a barn video earlier this year where we put all of this up and we ended up with three, five stalls all together. We did two double and three singles just so that we have plenty of room to kind of separate everybody. Right now we got the mamas in here with their lambs. Uh, they're doing really well. Even the mama that kind of rejected her baby initially, they have bonded. So no more bottle babies for us. He's eaten from his mama. He's doing really well and so that's this has worked out really well for us so sheep are good i'm assuming the goats are going to be good as well Yeah. 
look at them. We got them all lined up, ready for their hay. <laughs> Y'all ready? Roxy, you're not a goat. You're not even a donkey. Check this guy out. Do you remember him? He was about half the size last year. And, well, look at him now. He's a freaking monster. He was green last year when we rescued him from that trailer park. But here he is. The off button still works the same way. Just, you know, get the belly and plop, he falls over. Him and the dog still really good friends. Him and the donkeys get along really well, and he's just a sweetheart. Right, Hulk? No, out of my face. We're at the Miller Lodge right now. This was our initial barn. This was barn. our our first build. If we want to call it a barn. We did. This was <laughs> this was it for us in the beginning. Uh, this is where we we kept our goats initially. They were our second animals after chickens once we moved out here. Uh, then we upgraded, we got the barn and we got the pasture and we were able to move the goats out. So this has been kind of like an isolation area. Like the holding camp. A holding camp for uh, injured or maybe sick animals that we kind of wanted to get away from everybody else. More than for the bucks. And for the bucks. And now, yeah, now this is where we keep our bucks when it's not breeding season. Mm -hmm. And now we're about to have uh, kids hitting the ground. So we want to go ahead and separate our bucks from our does because, uh, well, we don't want them in there when, when they're, because we don't want them in there. <laughs> we don't want them in there. Cause we don't want them in there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of reasons why you want to keep them separated just so that you can manage, uh, your goat herd. So you don't have any accidental pregnancies later. Uh, bucks with does contain the, change the quality of the milk that the that the does produce so there's a there's a few reasons why you want to separate them but uh before we do that we helped a friend sir we helped some friends out uh, at dusty goat homestead we raised a pig for them and he kind of made himself at home in here uh kind of rooted some stuff around messed some stuff up doing pig things doing pig being a pig <laughs> being a pig uh it was it came with the territory but before we bring our bucks back up here we need to go through and we need to need to make sure that the fence is good and that everything's in place and just get it ready for goats for goats for not pigs for not pigs with grass and yeah. yes <laughs>
slowly, buddy. Every time you move, I got to get change directions. All right, so we got it all cleaned up. It, it took a little so longer. Cute. Took a little longer than it should have because we I got the kids involved, and that always slows things down. But you got to get them out here. You can't let them sit in the room. So we got them out here, and blood pressure's up. But we're it's looking good. And His blood pressure. My up. blood pressure's up, but it's looking good, and it's time to go grab the boys and bring them down here. Move them back in. Amber. 
keep him in. Just hold him right there. Let me jump in. Let's go. have nowhere to put it what goats are moved in so we're one step closer to kidding season pretty soon we'll have babies on the ground i know those two boys are a little like hmm. yeah they're where's, not they're not excited about this they're where's everybody for else at yeah these boys usually don't have a lot to do with each other when there's girls around but now that there's no girls they're they're we're side forcing. by side now we're they're forcing them now they're like i guess it's me and you bro <laughs> so uh, now we get to get into the the funnest part. Now out we here. wait for babies to start dropping and getting back to raising kids. That's Amber's job. Yeah. She kind of took that over. She makes even non-bottle babies as sweet as bottle babies. So she does really good with making really sweet baby kids and then selling them for pets. <laughs> and then it's milking next so that's going to be the next adventure back to milking back to milking anyways guys thanks for watching we hope you enjoy the video we'll see you in the next one we'll see you guys next time